Hey guys, welcome back. It has been a while. It's been a while indeed. Uh, near enough, I think. A little over a week, maybe even two weeks. Yeah, you know that thing I said, uh, you know, I wouldn't neglect my Feed the Beast or a PC games while I had the Elgato? Well, I... I lied. I've been, I've been neglecting you. And I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, sticky keys! No! I hate sticky keys. Um, so yeah, a bit has happened. I have been doing some Feed the Beast uh, since I've had my Elgato. I haven't just been playing Halo on card. Um, if you haven't seen any of Halo card gameplays, then go ahead and check them out. It'd be awesome. Um, I've changed texture pack. I've got the texture pack I want. It's the... It's called Vanilla HD, basically. It's kind of like the... Uh, what's the one? It's like the Old Faithful, except for it's better. At least in my opinion it's better. There's a wasp very close to me, and I don't want it to sting me. I hate wasps. I'm kind of afraid of them. But yeah, this... Uh, this texture pack I really like. It's default, and it's 100% default. Shut up. It's 100% default, so there's nothing in it that, like in Old Faithful, the way it was kind of default, but it wasn't really default, you know? It was default to the extreme, basically, of good stuff. Okay, good, I can take that. Anyway, enough yabbering. I don't want the potato. I don't want that. So, stuff has happened. Like you put in a wool, and the wool looks really nice. It kind of has a nice texture pattern to it. Other stuff we have done. I'm so happy we actually have the processing room working. This isn't it. Don't worry about it. Uh, this is my temporary setup. Temporary. Tem tempor temporary. Tem temporary. Ah! Ugh. Oh dear. Turn off. Turn off! Eek. Okay, alright, that's all turned off. <laughs> um, there's kind of a backup at night of of storage and power and stuff. You can stop working now. Damn you. Creeper check. Okay. <laughs> um, shit. Well, this was not meant to happen. Come on, you can keep working. Keep going. Ugh. Sweet Jesus. Let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. Um, so yeah, reasons for being away. Um, basically just capture card. That's about it. I've been trying to get some gameplays out before, uh, before Ghost gets out, because a lot of people are going to be uploading Ghosts, and basically f what little views I have right now, they're just going to diminish because nobody's going to be looking at COD or Halo or anything, they're just going to be concentrating on ghosts. Oh, that was my hour. Durr! Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these. And then we can put down some... Or just pick up the dirt. Um, so, I don't think we need this many. We might just need two. So, we have a new texture pack. This is the texture pack I'll be sticking with. That is irritating. Luckily, though, it's filling up, which is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and turn down the volume a tiny bit. Go to 80. Um, I have got Optifine installed to help out with lag and things like that. Not that I lag or anything. Uh, just shut up. Sometimes I get, like, kind of lag spike and stuff. We even have shaders. Um, I'll go ahead and put one on quick fast. This is going to make me lag like hell. We're probably, yeah, 10 frames. Ha! <laughs> Woot. But um, I haven't got a decent graphics card, so... So yeah, so one day <laughs> I'll be running shaders full-time, but right now, nope, graphics card won't handle it. Everything in my computer is decent, except for the graphics card is pretty shut. Come on, go back, thank you. So uh, yeah, we have Optifine installed so we can different things like, you know, better water and grass and all that crap. I haven't got better grass um, turned on, I don't like it, I prefer this. Um, now, can you... Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, this this doesn't really work during the night, so I'll have to sleep. But basically, you know, it's the exact same setup, except for now we have a ton of them linking to this dude here. Um, this is probably slower, because it's not a ton of uh, coal 
chucked into it, but it's it's easier for me because I don't have to tend to this, except for minor hiccups. So I'll just break another one of these two or something like that. So this is actually working faster. We have a lot more done to it, and this chest is one we've read in the middle. It's linked to one up there. We're going to go ahead and sleep just so that will kick in so I can show you guys quick fast. Um, this episode, I'm not sure what we'll be doing. Um, I think we're going to... Oh, what a sniper, seriously. Trick shot and shit. No, I hate trick shots. They're minging. Um, so, yeah. Die. Let's go ahead and head over here to have a look. But I figured I like default. I really like default. But I only like it to an extent. Either with shaders or else with like a HD quality to it. Which is nice. Uh, so if we go ahead and... No. 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 Oh my god, no. You. You. Oh. Okay, now that we have that fixed, that was horrible. Good thing I was recording now. I love when those moments happen, I get it run record. Because I mean, if it's going to happen, you might as well have it recorded. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, it is now daytime, there's no creepers around. So, yeah, these go pumping into there, through here, into this dude here, and they instantly go straight through. Because this dude here is a base pumped into this guy here. That wasp is still here and it's making me very worried. Made into here, put into these, and these guys are awesome because, like, look how many we have. We can, you know, this thing is just gonna pump it out. And then we get these, and that is up... Or the, the other, uh... The other, what's it called? Ender chest? Yeah, I remember. Um, I also have connected textures on. I uh, prefer it. It looks more um, realistic, I guess you could say. So yeah, we're keeping them. And for the time being, I just have it stuffed here. So uh, this is going to be from the processing room. This is going to be from the mass fabricator. Uh, I don't know if this is going to stay there. We might move it, or hide it, or do something with it. Um, so actually, while we're here, may as well not bother using stairs. Use our jetpack. Head over here. And then put... That in there. Um, so yeah, I have I have these dudes showing what's what. Um, it's a little bit easier, you know. So we have everything near enough rigged up correctly. Oh, we have some gold apples in here actually, don't we? Oh, wrong one. Oh yeah, gold apple. Wood. So this room here is going to be on the to-do list. Um, I will have this finished by the next episode. Basically, just have it rigged up, so anything I put in your chest up there will go to either or. This gives me a headache. Um, something I really like about this texture pack is, look, it's grainy. <laughs> it just looks really nice. Um, I don't think we'll be keeping that pattern. I don't know if we'll use wood. I'm just going through a bit of everything to find out what does and doesn't work. And that doesn't work. So we'll not be using that. Uh, now down here, this is this is going to be the processing room. I don't want to fiddle with this anymore, I just want to have it done and finished. I have the energy coming down from here, or the EU, pumped into these guys here, which is here and here. I don't know why we're not getting any energy right now. Is it night time? It's not night time, is it? Holy hell, it's night time already. So, um, so yeah, I've got two of them. I've got the MFSU and the MFE different directions. Eventually that will be an MFSU as well. So the MFSU right now comes up here and just powers this dude here. And really all I need is one engine, so that's pretty good. I'll probably end up putting this underneath it to make it look nicer. Uh, we will have this automated, that's why I only have one engine. We don't need these now. And uh, we can neaten this up. So, um, so yeah, hopefully by the end of the episode, off camera, I'll have this done. And I can show you guys the automation to it and stuff. But um, I've been doing some iron and things like that. And these guys here, each one has a two uh, transform upgrades as well as two overclockers. And they work like a complete beast. They're just amazing. And I put glass in this dude here. Awesome. 
so we have a ton of copper so we can start making stuff and get it all sorted uh, now in here I think I want to I want to change something up with the roof maybe or the ceiling sorry I want to do something up here I think the way we'll go about this is actually have it so it's a a building room I suppose kind of like a workshop something like that um, I want to pretty all this up make it look nice the reason why these are two apart by the way is because I'm gonna put iron pipes in here so it'll take it out shut up zombie so we'll take it out and we'll move these so they're back here and then we'll have the input from the top the output from the side I think the output works from any side actually so we might just put it from the back here but right now this is how we're having it zombie you're too loud so yeah we're gonna work on this down here is kind of obsolete now I think this might be like a test area for uh, whenever we have something new to fiddle with oh yeah and I put pain not pain sorry but normal glass blocks here just so they're connected and they look nice so um yeah tell me what you think in the comment section about the texture pack and if you like the whole uh, connected textures and stuff because a lot of people don't actually like connected textures and I don't know why I know it's it's against kind of vanilla but it does look nicer and this is still vanilla so you know get over it <laughs> Um, now plans for the processing room, I want to get this done pretty soon because um, I want to keep an eye on the time I have and stuff like that. I'm going to try and make it maybe 20 minutes, but you know how that's going to be, oh it's going to be 20 minutes. Actually it's going to be like 50 minutes, I'm going to cut it into two episodes. Anyway, um, so we're going to have it so this is going to be manually input for the time being and manually taken out. But in the end I want it so maybe from the top of the, top of the storage room, you throw it into a chest that comes down here, gets put into the blue side you know, pulverized away, and then the red side and the blue side, oh sorry, red side and blue side, lol, red side and yellow side, I didn't say lol, I didn't, that, oh yuck, Christ, wash my mouth out with soap, this, I hate people who say, who actually say lol, it's ugh, frustrating, anyway, um, so, what we're gonna have is, if you just want, like, pulverized dust for some reason, it doesn't, don't want to make it into an ingot, we'll have it so there will be, like, a, a kind of valve, I need a fiddle with them because they're called gates I think but uh, I haven't done much fiddling with gates yet so hopefully we'll get that sorted but we'll have it so there's a gate so if you want an ingot it'll get pumped down here oh my twitter went off awesome uh, so it'll get pumped down here across the floor from underneath and put into one of these or else divide it up and put into all of these and then you know so you can come get your copper but then I might have it so the copper goes back up to the storage room I'm not sure um, also, we'll have it so just pulverized stuff can go straight back to the storage room. And I think for the pulverized stuff, considering we don't have um, don't have any chests or anything like that, I might make like a diamond chest or just some huge chest, kind of maybe here and one over there, and just have it so anything that's pulverized and brought back gets put into this that isn't um, a normal ingot. So I think that'd be fairly cool. Go away, wasp. Go away. Uh, something I want to get started on, because I've been saying it for quite a while, and considering we pretty much have the processing room started and rolling and on its way... Oh, it's night time, we better go and sleep so the mass fabricator doesn't bugger up on us. Sleeping time, sleeping time, you'll notice here as well, I'm out of cookies. So next episode we'll be doing our cookie factory. And I know how to build it. Um, it is my own design. I'm quite chuffed with that. I just don't know where to put it. So in the meantime, between this episode and next episode, I'll be looking at places to build it. I should probably go check the mass fabricator, actually. Um, so, oh yeah, you see here, doorways are starting to uh, be put in place and things like that. So hopefully, you know, everything will be good. So getting back on track and things like that. Let's check for creepers. Uh, you're not a creeper, but you're annoying as hell. Oh, come here, buddy. Thank you. Uh, spider can bugger off. So yeah, this guy here is working like a champ. Or are you? You should be working like a champ. Why are you not working? Okay, we're gonna just do that, and hopefully that'll sort out creeper jack. Okay. Sorry, just if, Christ. If that thing blew up next to my mass fabricator, I I would have cried. Like legitimately cried and also we need to make oh, see how nice the textures are we need to make two new um, advanced solar panels 
because they've been used down there. But I figured I'd use the advanced solar panels to make more advanced solar panels, so they're being put to good use. Um, now in here, someone commented last time saying about bookshelves and things like that, so I've gone ahead and made two different types of bookshelves. Um, I think if we had a saw as well, that'd be really handy, but we don't. Damn it. Rrr. It's like invisible. Um, I'm not too sure what to use this house for. It's kind of like an empty shell. Connected textures look so much nicer. Come on, they really do. Uh, it's kind of like an empty shell right now, and I've managed to light it up pretty well with these lamps. You know, hiding with, uh, what are they called? Covers? I think they're covers. So, yeah, I'm going to get fiddling with this and see what kind of design I can come up with, and I will bring you guys back in a moment. Oh, it'll be a moment for you guys. It'll be probably about maybe an hour or something, because I won't be able to make up my mind. I mean, like, I can make pretty decent stuff, but it's just, like, you are your own worst critic, you know? I'm, I'm going to hate it no matter what. But uh, this house I'm happy with. So maybe we'll get some um, some covers in here to... I'm going to kill that wasp. To um, change up the walls or something like that. But I'll bring you back in a moment. Okay. So uh, I've just been doing a bit of work. I've actually gotten quite the old uh, creativity going. Um, kind of forgotten how much customization you can have. I don't want your meat full. How much customization you can have in Feed the Beast. And why is this lagging? Eek. Yuck. Uh, settings. Video. Render distance. We'll just go default normal. Just for the time being. Yeah, that's definitely helped. Okay, so this is what I've done. I've made it kind of like an office -y type work room, workshop area. I'm going to have something along here, I think. Not sure. But uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. These are um, poison, oh, poison, potion shelves, as well as, I think these are just called normal shelves. And these are cool because you can hang, got mega jump on, you can hang stuff in it. So I've just got different stuff in there, as well as um, the, the shelves make pretty cool uh, work surfaces and things like that, you know, so they tie in pretty well. So um, yeah, I think we're going to keep it like this. I want some sort of chandelier here as well, coming down to maybe there, that kind of height, right in the middle, something like that. Um, in here, I think I might put down some sort of carpet or something, you know, just not have it all wood. But I want double chests in these guys here. And I think we're going to use wooden double chests or else have like iron chests or something like that. You know, so we'll have a look at that later. Now, uh, I've been doing some work. Is there anything I need to bring? There is not. Uh, there isn't. I was going to see if I can do something with the... Yeah, we could actually do this now, couldn't we? Um, oh, my. Alright, we're okay. Alright, so here. Mega! Nope. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Did you see about that height? I think that height would do. That's... Expand it a little bit. Now this can't be a huge one. This has to be. Oh no! Uh, I think we might have to raise it by one, one or two. We'll try two. Let's go here. Just so um, you know, because if you're looking at this at a chandelier, it's not going to look too great. You're going to want it a bit higher than the. Uh, from the highest point, you can stand up to view it, I guess. Let's go ahead and right. This is just give you a box standard one. You know, nothing, nothing amazing. Um, I was looking through the. Thank you. I was looking through the uh, thing here, and I can't really find anything that would make a chandelier look nice or like an actual chandelier, which would be pretty sweet. But you know, it gives light, and I think we could nearly take these out. But I need to add some. I don't have any need to add some more lights, so I might put like one here or something. Actually, can we do that? Just want to make it... Ah, bugger. I want to make it so um, everything I put in with the lights and things like that, they're set in a way that uh, you can't see... Do I have one up here? No, I don't have any up here. Basically, so you can't see the, the lever stuck to it or something like that, you know? So, um... 
I need to figure out something to put here as well. Might put bookshelves or something like that, or else the the actual little shelves. But oh, this is where I had them, wasn't it? Yeah, buddy, that's where I had it. Yes, caught them. All right, let's go find them. Um, I should probably edit this and have a look. Let's see how much time I have left. And my little sister's starting to scream downstairs. I don't think you guys can hear it though, so I might. I might see if I can keep going. As long as she stays very quiet. Or rather, here they are. Two of you, do we have. Yes, we do, we have them. Alright, let's go. Um, I need to find a better way of getting up here just in case so I don't have like a jetpack or something like that. I might just put the arcane levitators, just stack up a ton of them or something. I'm not sure. But, up one more. Um, I'm looking to start the... Oh, there we go. I'm looking to start the uh, village pretty soon. Now, I know this doesn't look um, structurally sound, I guess. It doesn't look right. But, you know, I've seen it where in modern houses there's like pillars with lights out of them. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good. And this allows us to have no torches in this house. There is one right there. But I put it there just because I wanted to have like a torch or a light here, but I couldn't, so I had to put it there. So, um, you know, just make it look nice. Got our creepers and stuff. Uh, let's have a quick peek. Oh, there we go. I don't like how it's like slow reaction moving and stuff, but luckily nothing's falling out. Um, I want to do something with this. Either put in like a fake chimney, but I don't think that'll look too great. I'm not sure. We shall, we shall see. But uh, yeah, I do want to start up here because I have, if we come over here, I have gone ahead and flattened out this area up here and things like that. I love this zoom, it's so much easier to uh, explain and, and show. So uh, yeah, there's no need to render. But um, yeah, you know, hopefully we'll snap to it and get stuff sorted whenever I turn the jetpack on, and I'm pushing the wrong keys because I play too much Xbox. <laughs> whenever I turn the Xbox on, I always end up zooming in, which is really irritating. I might change the key. But uh, I want to flatten down this hill somewhat. I don't want to do it a huge amount, though, because I do want to keep the the natural look of it. But I might make like a walkway down here, bring it down here, and then make it so the village kind of starts here, kind of. And just have maybe like a building on this side, a building on that side. And then you walk through, and with the paths, I don't want to have like a stone path. I want to put gravel down and all that good stuff. So uh, I think the majority of the houses will be up here. I've explained all this before, I'm going to go over it one more time. There will be a stairway coming down here, which will head down here. And then down here is where we'll actually have like kind of almost factories, I guess you can say. Like, you know, tree farms, and but built around a building that actually houses it and supports it and all that stuff. And there's a place over here, if I find it. Yeah, it's right here. I want to make something here, because this, this is quite nice. Um, I do want to push through the mountain, have like kind of light from where these points here are, just make an, a natural archway to push through, and maybe have it connect to a building. You know, so like when you walk into the building, that's part of the archway or something, you know? Or else have it so there's a building here and a building here, and the roof connects over it. So you walk through it and, you know, something like that. I think that would be cool. Terraforming is fun. Uh, speaking of terraforming, I'm going to be getting rid of all these holes and stuff. And I think it should come through about here, I think. We shall see. So it might come through straight where the stairs are, which would be pretty sweet. Um, other things you have to do with the farms is make wheat farms and things like that. So um, we might not have all of it here. We might push through over here, clear some trees. You know, I don't want to flatten land or anything. Because if I flattened all the land here, I'd be able to make it but I don't want to flatten the land. I do want to do a bit of terraforming there. Tiny bit. Tiny, tiny, tiny amount. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys about the place. Show you what I've been doing. I love this texture pack. It is so cool. Uh, as you can see here, we have our stuff missing. You know, it's all down below and all that good stuff. Um, I'm actually just going to go edit, see how much time we have. Another thing I did was fix them up. Gonna go edit, see how much time we have, and if I have enough time, we will start this today. Um, another thing I want to do as well is the walls. I'd say I'm gonna do the walls off camera. Um, I'll give you guys like little 
hints and stuff as to what I'm doing. Fiddling again here. I don't think we're going to go for wood because it just it doesn't look too great. So if you have any suggestions or anything like that, then uh, yeah, feel free to put them in the comments. Because to be honest, I'm kind of um, no idea what to do. Uh, we might try, not brick, but there is that red cobblestone-y type of thing. We might try something like that, but I don't think it'll go well with the with the, the white and the red. So I think we need to stick with something like that. But I shall, I'll have a look at it, fiddle with it, you know. And up here I've got a pretty decent idea of what I want to do because, um, I don't, no, I'll tell you. Because uh, basically I wanted it so it's like, kind of like forest meets old temple type of thing. And that's where this is from, because this looks kind of like almost like templish, if you if you think about it with like stone brick and cracked mossy and things like that, and you know, hopefully it'll look nice. We might raise this like I know we can't raise it by much because of this, but we might raise this by one and have uh let me just get in here. Get rid of this block and then have this block here, stone brick, and just have it so it's like a tiny bit cutaway. Just so it's you know adds more depth, or else add another border to along here. So we might try that. So I'm gonna go edit, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well we're lagging. Oh my. Okay, this is what happens when I virtual dub open. This horrible lag. Okay, so I'm gonna stay still while I say this. We're pushing 25 minutes. This is the end of the episode. Goodbye. <laughs> That's basically it. Uh, why? Why is it lagging? Alright, let me just... Yeah, see, I've got virtual dub open, so I have everything recorded and edited inside it. See, let, we'll look over this one, set, yeah? While we talk. So basically, next time when you guys come back, um, I'll have some stuff done. That's, that's, that's about as many promises as I can make. I'll have things... different. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna try and find a way how to keep time. I'll probably have like a stopwatch or something like that, or like a clock, or you know, something like that, so I get more stuff done. But I'm gonna start doing more stuff off camera, so it'd be cool. So if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button, favorite, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.